Wait, really? Everyday carry is strange. For most people, it's literally just the stuff you carry in your pockets. Yet for some reason, like many others, I actually find it really interesting. So in this video, I'm going to go over why that might be and what I keep in my pockets as a minimalist and slightly obsessive architect. So my EDC is essentially just your typical three items, wallet, phone, and keys. However, a long time ago, these things were very different for me. My pockets would be overflowing with items I just didn't need, such as loyalty cards, receipts, bike keys, and multi-tools, because you never know, just in case. But back when I transitioned from baggy jeans and Velcro wallets to wearing clothes that actually fit me, I realized that everyday carry can really weigh you down. So immediately, this is something I knew I had to change. So the first and arguably most important item is my wallet, which is from Belroy. Quick disclosure here, none of this content is sponsored, so nobody paid me to say any of this. I just really like this stuff. I particularly love this wallet from Belroy, as it's just incredibly minimal and black like most of my things. But the reason I love it so much is that it's just a single piece of folded black leather with a magnetic closure, which has this awesome fidget factor and is so satisfying to close. Some of you may have seen in my other videos that I'd been rocking this pretty minimalist brown leather card sleeve for some years now. But what really started to bug me about this type of wallet is that even though it's super minimal, all the edges of my cards were getting worn off or peeling, which drove me absolutely crazy. What's even more ridiculous is that I'd have to wrap my business cards in paper to stop them getting dirty as they were just exposed to all of the fluff in my pockets. And you can only imagine how stupid that looks when you actually need to give one to somebody. So my new wallet keeps everything dirt and scratch free and just keeps my cards, driving license and a couple of emergency notes for when they're needed, which during the pandemic is usually never. I usually keep this all to one side as the other side I like to keep open for a different kind of card. Now pocket knives can be super useful, however I don't carry one as for the most part they're illegal here in the UK and I just don't want the bulk or weight of a pocket knife making my skinny jeans any more uncomfortable than they already are. So what I now do is keep this awesome little wallet tool with me for opening packages or tightening screws or even opening the occasional beverage. It's the exact same size as a credit card, so when it's in your wallet, you barely even know it's there. I don't keep this in here all the time, especially not for flights, but whenever I'm out with friends or on a shoot, this is an awesome and handy little tool to have with you. Alongside my Bellroy wallet, I also have this, their awesome little key holder. This is also magnetized for that satisfying snap, but mainly I have this to stop annoying jingles in my pocket or sharp key edges pressing up against my leg or scratching things in my pocket that I just don't want scratched. Now you're probably right in thinking that this isn't really necessary, but I love this thing and until you use one, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. Along with it being more comfortable, it's just so much more pleasant to use. I immediately dump all of my EDC on my desk whenever I get back to it. And seeing as my desk is the place where I spend most of my time, it makes a huge difference not having an ugly set of keys clustering and scratching up the place. So for my phone, I'm proudly rocking the iPhone 7 Plus, which is soon to be five generations strong. I mean, I got this mainly for the camera, as it was quite a big step up at the time. And so far, it does everything it needs to just fine. And because it's pretty massive, the battery life is still okay. I think spending time on our phone is probably something that we're all trying to get away from. So I don't really see the point in upgrading unless you really need it. But in all honesty, as someone who makes videos for a living, I'm likely to upgrade soon, as you just cannot beat having a 4K stabilized run and gun camera in your pocket for B-roll. Moving away from the essentials now, there are things I don't necessarily have with me every day, but do have on me quite often. And first up is the watch. Watches are not inherently minimalist, as let's face it, they've been completely superseded by our smartphones, which are kind of like pocket watches with superpowers. But as a minimalist and someone who has a relatively minimal wardrobe, I do like wearing watches as a minimal form of self-expression. One thing I appreciate about watches is that they can say so much about your personality because they're such incredibly detailed objects. From the face to the case to the lugs and the dials, there's a lot to say. The watch that I use the most is the Kimono Winston Double Subs in all black, which is absolutely useless at telling the time in the dark. However, I think it's one of the best looking minimalist watches that you can buy for under £100. I love the incredibly pared back face and the fact that the crown is slightly off centre so it doesn't dig into the back of your hand like some watches do. There's just something about wearing a watch that I really like. 
Perhaps it's because it performs as a reminder to stay on top of the time. But really, you're either a person who likes to wear watches or a person who doesn't. And to be honest, either is fine. And finally, here's a quick run through of the last few things that I carry around with me from day to day. A pen, as architects only know how to communicate on building sites through sketches. The ones that I now use almost exclusively are the UniPin Fineliners. This is the 0.5, which is the thickness that I find to be the most versatile. Wireless earbuds for listening to podcasts or audiobooks when I'm using public transport or going to the gym. My earbuds always get a lot of abuse, so I've never felt comfortable spending a lot of money on something so tiny. These ones are from Tautronics and are an absolute steal at under £40. And finally, a generic black mask and a pair of sunglasses. I think these are from Jack Jones, but really for my face type, I'm only ever happy with this tortoise semi-round style. Again, I'm not into spending a lot on sunglasses, mainly because I know that I'll break or lose them. So as long as they offer UV protection, I'm generally quite happy. And that concludes my tour of my minimalist everyday carry. Perhaps if I was truly minimalist, I wouldn't need any of this. But these are the things that I find that I always need most days in order to do everything that I need to. As an architect, I've always been interested in the tactile elements of buildings, like door handles, furniture, switches, and faucets, because these are the things that you actually touch and interact with. So considering how much we use or interact with our own everyday carry, I think it's probably worth making sure that you like your own. I think this is also probably the reason that I enjoy it so much and why I wanted to share mine with you guys, as it literally never leaves my side. It's always in my pockets or on my desk or in my bedroom while I'm sleeping. And because of this, it's probably the thing that I own that's the closest to being an extension of who I am. And because of this, I think it's kind of fascinating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Is EDC of no actual importance or is it the first thing you should be getting right when decluttering your life? If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already as this really helps keep me going. And if you've already subscribed, I just wanna say a massive thank you. I also want to point out in this video that if you're a big fan of the channel, I'm now offering channel memberships. When I subscribe to my favorite channels, I always thought it would be really cool to be able to identify the OG subscribers down in the comment section. So now with channel memberships, you guys can get access to my custom loyalty badges, which easily identify you as a longtime supporter of the channel. This not only helps me in making more frequent content for you guys, but it also gives you access to new member-only community posts, which is a safe space that I've created to have more candid interactions with you guys in the community tab. I wanted to make this as accessible as possible for everyone, so I've made memberships as low as YouTube will let me at 99p, so feel free to hit the join button below if you're enjoying the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.